Hey guys, Sonny Bryson here, and today we have a book review. And this week, I actually read a book called Superfans by Pat Fling, and here it is right here. But by the way, guys, I did not read the book. I actually listened to the book here on Audible. Now, I'm making this clarification because every time I make a book review, I say, hey, I read the book, but then I said I was on Audible, so you guys always make fun of me. So that's why I'm clarifying today that I actually listened to the book on Audible, okay? So there you go. By the way, if you want to learn basically about, hey, how to do YouTube, how to make a podcast, how to connect to an audience and all that stuff, that's what this book right here, Superfans, actually tries to teach you. On top of that, if you want to use my link down below to Audible, you get two free books. So I recommend you get that book and also this book right here called Crushing It by Gary V. This book right here taught me a lot when I was first starting my channel and I wanted to find out, hey, what should I make my videos about? And the answer is basically make content around something that you'd like to talk about even on a Saturday when no one is paying you any mind or any money whatsoever. So that's why I make videos about finance because basically I love it. But in this video, we're gonna go over three things I learned when it came to this book right here called Superfans, okay? And it's all about marketing. It's all about how to connect with your audience and also about making money when it comes to passive income, okay? So there's a lot in this one book and I wanna cover three details, but by the way, I highly, highly, highly recommend this book right here. It's great and it also taught me a ton. Now guys, if you guys are new here, I post a video every single day on YouTube, but I also do a book review once a week. So make sure to also subscribe and hit the bell to so stay notified. And on top of that, also destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now, the first thing I actually learned in this book is basically the types of people that actually watch your content. Now I thought that basically, well, if we have 200k subscribers like I do right now, like 249k at this moment right now. The idea is that all those people are always going to come in your channel and watch all your videos and that's how it works. But then you find out that basically that's not how it actually works. Some people basically are casuals. They come to your channel whenever they need information or they find your video here and there. They click on it, get the information, they leave. If they see you around, they might click on a video, but they're not really in your whole community that often. On top of that, you have the people that are more active. When you post a video, they're always there, they're clicking and also commenting. And then you have the third level called super fans. And those are people that basically, whatever video you post, they're always there to support you, always comment and always give you ideas. Because by the way, guys, I think right now, I might be on my like 300th or 400th video, like daily content here. And I wouldn't be able to do that if it wasn't for all the ideas you guys give me, okay? So also I wanna say thank you for that. But the whole goal is to basically say guys that when it comes to creating a YouTube channel or any content on Instagram, the idea is that you don't need a million people that watch you randomly. The idea is you only need 1,000 to 10,000 people that are actually there. They're gonna be a part of everything you actually do. And he calls those people like super fans. And I call those people like, you know, like real supporters, you know, people that are always there, ride or die whenever you're actually posting content, but also people that tell you and call you out whenever you also make mistakes. Kind of like your friends that are online but they're really supportive and that's how the way I actually see it, okay? But he calls it super fans to make it like a lot more clear. But overall, the whole point in the book, his whole goal is to show you how do you actually build a super fan community? Where if you post a book, if you have a course, if you have anything, those people go ahead and support you, they buy your products and all that stuff. And if you make a mistake, they call you on it and keep you in check. And they also defend you against people they just wanna basically hate on you on the channel and also maybe on the internet. That's what you actually want to build. So overall, it's not about, for example, having a million subscribers. It's more about having a small community of people that are there to support you and everything, okay? So for example, just for the people out there that like numbers and money and math like I do, the idea is say, for example, you have a million subscribers, but no one is actually buying your content or maybe even like buying your course or anything like that. So in reality, people just come on casually and watch your content and you get paid basically through Google AdSense, right? But say for example, you have a thousand people that are ride and die in a sense, right? They're always there supporting everything you do and you make a product, right? And this product might cost maybe a hundred bucks, right? So a hundred bucks multiplied by a thousand people, that's around $10,000 in one month. And if you do that every single month in reality, that's around six figures by the end of the year. So the point is, is that you don't need a million to 10 million people to follow you. The goal is you just need to give value and be there for those people that are there for you also. Just build like a concrete, solid audience and the book again 
he calls them super fans, okay? And that's the point here. Focus on building your super fans and not just building, for example, like, oh my gosh, have so many views, okay? Now, the second thing I learned in this book is basically you have to give people small wins. Now, this right here was very, very important to me. And the idea is that whenever I actually make content on YouTube, my goal is to always try to give you guys an actionable step like, hey, what can you do right now to improve where you are right now? And that's why when I make a video and I say, hey guys, I make this much money, or hey guys, I have this much money invested, people see that and say, hey, how am I supposed to get to that level, right? So that's why I always say, hey, I started investing with $7.00 and 20 cents, believe it or not. And the idea is that I recommend just open up an M1 Finance account, right? Here's my portfolio. By the way, everything's linked down below also. But just go ahead, open up an M1 Finance account and just make it a habit to invest 10% of whatever you make every time you actually get paid. And by the end of the year, you have a bulk of money in there. And the idea is that it didn't take a bunch of money. It just took 10% of what you make. And some people just want to start off. And for that, I recommend you start off with like 20 bucks or whatever it is. But right now, guys, my portfolio in investing is around 100K. But again, that might sound like a lot, but I just started out with $7.20 and just kept building and building and building. So whenever you actually want to teach something to your audience, just stop trying to be like, hey, I'm all the way here. Come up all the way here. The idea is no, like, hey, I started here and here's what you can do today to actually get to that level step by step. Kind of like a marathon, okay? You don't sprint the marathon, you just get there step by step, okay? It's a great idea, just focus on small wins when it comes to your audience and also on yourself. If you're trying to build, for example, a YouTube channel, a Facebook account, like whatever it is, a business, the idea is don't focus on, for example, like, hey, I wanna have a million dollars. The idea is no, just focus on what can I do today? just step by step and that's how you take it. Now, the last thing, number three, that I actually learned in this book is basically do not try to automate everything when it comes to your audience. People told me, Tommy, why don't you do webinars or like, you know, like um, these live things that really aren't live. And by the way, I accidentally went live today on YouTube. It was like a complete accident. But the point is that basically, the idea is that I could literally make a live video that when you guys go ahead and visit, you give me your email, I give you like marketing stuff and I try to sell you stuff and you're like commenting say like, oh my gosh, something is cool, cool. But in reality, I'm not even live. And to me, that sounds like very deceiving. So that's why I don't really do that whatsoever. Like webinars and you're there, but the video is not live, it's actually pre-recorded. So why are you there in the first place? And why do you have people think that you're actually live? I don't like that concept. But I did learn from Flynn in this book that it's very important to try to do meetups, also live events, and also just talk to people live on the internet. And that we can go ahead and foster a community of people that are actually like-minded. For example, guys, okay, there are 249,000 of you that subscribe to this channel right here. And to me, that is awesome, right? But the idea is that guys, around 2% of you watch every single video I post, around 10% of you watch like the very popular videos, and then around like 90 to 100% and more watch those like viral videos in a sense, and that's pretty cool also. But the point is that the community is so large that why wouldn't I wanna make like a group and that way, we can basically just talk to each other, like-minded people that want to go exactly where you actually want to go also. So it's kind of like, hey, instead of trying to automate things, like, hey, this is Tommy, but it's not Tommy, it's like pre-recorded, why wouldn't I want to connect with you guys and also have you guys connect with each other? And that way you also have something that's very important, and it's called basically accountability partners, where someone wants to do what you want to do, and now they're looking at you, and that way you're like, hey, I better get to work also because Josh over here is also working on his goal and that way you guys stay together and basically go for it. So in the future, look out because I will be making more live videos. I will try to focus on making like a meetup club like here in New York, like we will meet up maybe like once a month, something like that. Let me know if you wanna see that. And I will make a course for you guys also like about money and finance and all that stuff. But in reality guys, I do want to say one thing here, okay? What I don't want to do is make a paywall, which I also read in Gary's book here. And I don't want to say, for example, hey, if you want the premium content, like, hey, all the information is in my course. No, all the information is on my YouTube channel. But if you just want all the information in one place, all together, like neat and pretty, I'm going to make a course just for that. But I won't say, hey, the only way to get access to this information is with my course. Now, if you want everything in one place, it'll be there. 
but all the information is also on my YouTube channel also. That's what I'm going to do there. But guys, comment down below and let me know, does that sound like a good idea or does it not sound like a good idea? Comment down below, let me know. And by the way, if you are interested in, for example, like doing a YouTube channel, Instagram or anything like that. The answer is it's a great book to read and this one is also a great read also And by the way, no, I'm not sponsored by Gary V or any of these guys here But they're just great books and I think you guys will get a lot of value from them also. I'll see you guys next time Thanks for watching. If you like this video right here, well like this video on top of that Also subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified and before I go if you want to talk to me or text me subscribe to my patreon link down below or for example send me a DM on Instagram at Tiny Bryson and on top of that if you want to watch another video on the book that changed my life forever here's a video right here and click on just tomorrow thanks for watching and as always peace